Okay, let's go. Oh boy, here I go killing again. That was left over, but I decided to keep it because there's a lot of killing anyway. That took me a little longer than I wanted, but that's okay. This is the first ending I want to get, so... Yeah, it's that quick. Not all of them are going to be that quick, but it's one of the quicker ones. It's like the earliest one you can get. Like, you don't even have to move your character, it's just done. I gotta do the lava death next. I forget if it's faster with the uh, shovel or not, damn it. There's so much to keep track of. I feel like it is faster with the uh, lava though. I mean, not with the lava, poor old man. Yeah. Don't worry. It'll be fine. I don't remember if this is faster or not, but it's fine. Oh, wrong way. I forgot it's to the right. Thanks for the thanks for the follow, uh, Heredia Alvarito. I think I read that right. Anyway, welcome. Also, welcome, Drake. Sorry, I didn't say... I was too busy responding to what you said and didn't say hello. Uh, that's my bad. I'm still nervous about this, like, even doing it. And there's no, like, huge pressure. It's just, like, I've never done the 102% before. I've done individual endings. I've done other categories. But, like, I've never done this. You always want to jump off there like that so you can avoid the water. The water slows you down. As much as you can avoid the water, the better. Ah, damn it. Next one's one of the easiest. It's actually only, I think it's actually slightly faster than going into bed. But, you know, the bed is also, like in real time, it's lost time because I had to go and change my, uh, not my text to change these. I, change, I can change that ahead of time. I just can't change the text speed until like after I've started the game, which is dumb, to be honest. And boop. It's that quick. Now I gotta go down to the dragon. Yeah, for shopkeeper. Yeah, pretty much. He died for a good cause. This speed run. Oh, and I guess an eventual shotgun. Well, it says Dragon Death no items, but it's referring to only two items that actually make a difference when you walk in front of them. Or her? It? I actually don't know if it... I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, I need to hit the timer. Now this time we grab the Lava Charm, which doesn't require the shovel. Alright, we 
skip over the sword. We don't want the sword. Yo, Ninja Ness, what's up? Dwizzy Dwazzy, yeah, pretty much. What's up, homie? Now we have the Lava Charm. We can get another ending. With the dragon killing us. And then... Like, oh, you're immune to fire. Good for you. Squish. <laughs> oh, damn. Now we gotta go get the shield, and at that point it's better to get the shovel afterward. While you move a little slower, you don't have to do all the climbing and dropping down in a further location afterward, so. It's a trade-off. Also, if you notice, the rock doesn't trip you anymore. That's only after you get... It's, it has to be ending five or further into the game. Once you get it, though, it doesn't happen again. It's only meant to trigger that one time. Oh yeah, now that we're holding an item, not only do we move slightly slower, we also jump lower as well. still need to jump there but it's precautionary it doesn't lose you any time by doing it it's just extra now we'll need the charm and the shield which means we skip the shovel but we're going down the route that grabs you the charm that's the only reason why we skip the shovel Also, ugh, like this eyes being sticking out of there. It's weird, man. It's weird. Also, it's good whenever you can't make like better jumps per se. Like you notice, like I can't make the full jumps there. It's better to like uh, bonk your head too, so you don't jump as long. That, that definitely helps a lot. Now this next one, I don't have to do anything. Like as soon as I start up, just land. Like, I'll just sit in the house and go AFK. Welcome back! <laughs> and we just stay here and wait for the ending to happen. I forget how long it takes, but it's like, I think somewhere around 30 seconds. I was like, oh, that takes so long, but you gotta think this, you know, when you, you're not thinking of it in a speed running way, you're thinking of it in a casual way where it's like, oh, well, yes. to kick in. Honestly, I feel like I should have put this one first. Or second. But it's more of a nice reprieve where you don't have to do anything, you just wait. Take your time. I know, I have to take my time in a speedrun. Weird. Who thought this concept was a good idea? 
unfortunately, whoever goes for this run. I said 30 seconds, but it, I guess it takes longer than 30 seconds. It's I don't do this for very often. I've only gotten it. I remember when I first played it casually. I think I got it by accident. I had to walk away, and I came back, and I had got an gotten an ending. God, I forgot how long this thing takes. Like I'm being extra careful not to press anything at all. There it is. Okay. Whew. It made me wonder if I like I messed up somewhere. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> nope. It just takes over two minutes. I don't. I think it always took that long. I just didn't realize. As much as I want to take the shovel, it is. I feel like I should just have it at the beginning. I can move a lot of these around too, so I'm not too worried about that. What we're going to do as much as I want to, because the route's similar to going to the dragon, but since I have to go a little further than just like to the dragon, I'd rather take this route where I have my full speed and jump. Ooh, actually did not think to jump there for a moment. this while we're here that was bad oh I messed up the jump it's fine as long as you get at least five endings and then boom cool I got that done oh my it's just I, I. <laughs> get the parasite I know I need the lava charm but I need the shovel too so the best way to do it is to actually because if you get the shovel well hey Benjamin want to do is go to here first and grab this make your way back out and then grab the shovel You know, think about it. I don't think I need the lava charm, but it's fine. I feel like you do though, but I've never like tested it. It's fine. If it turns out that's what I need to do, I'll just make sure to do it next time. Now we're gonna be making a long trek to the west with no items, because it's faster. It's significantly faster, even on mis making mistakes. Because not only do you run slower and move, uh, run slower and jump lower with the sword in hand or really any item, but you would need the sword to do it the other way around. You'll, you'll see what I mean anyway. Because if you get the sword, you can kill the minions on top of the shop and try to use their bodies to get up there. 
to get uh, where you need to go faster. Oop, jumped a little early, I guess. It's so quiet in this area, I always forget. Like, the mus there's just no music. We got the yellow orb now. Wait, I do not understand all you say, for I am Mexican, but understand. Gotcha. I understand. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, if you ever have any questions about what I'm saying, you can always ask, and I'll try to elaborate best I can. I, uh... The funny thing is, we're actually doing this route twice. So we have to stop here. It doesn't matter in or which order, to be honest. The same for grabbing the orb. I just try to grab the orb early and get it over with. You need the orbs for the final ending, so. Yeah. There's that. But we're gonna make that same trek again. But this time, we're not gonna stop at the treasure chest. Although it's gonna be kinda cool swimming all that way as a pirate. So. There's that. I'm actually more surprised I've gotten those... those jumps right the first time around. I say that as I screwed up the second one, of course, but, you know, semantics, I suppose. I tried. I, you lose a small amount of time by making that jump, but I keep trying to hope that I can make it there. Because you make it on that would actually save you a lot of time. But I don't think you can get up there. At least not through just simply jumping. And that saves you probably some time. I actually don't know if that actually saves any time. Like that tiny jump. Or at least, I mean it does. It probably saves you like a few frames or something. Unfortunately, I don't know how to speak Spanish. I know very few words. And I know some basic greetings and that's about it. And I don't have an auto translate. I should, oh, I should get the translate bot. Just to, like, it's not the best, but I mean, it can help in situations like this. And this time. Right, I forgot. You can't really. You want to do as big a jump as you can. Because you see, as, as you can see, being in the water slows you down, which, you know, not, not good. Not good. While this is not the longest ending you can get, it's definitely on the longer end, so there's that as well. Now we gotta go kill the fairies, so we can unlock the fairy portal. Which just will allow us to save the princess and unlock another portal. I prefer, like, in terms of a, a, a set of in if you're doing a small set of endings, getting the, uh, killing the fairies with the shotgun is the most consistent because of the range it has, but... The only downside is that, uh, the downside for a thing like this is that, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's, I need the sword. And I'll need the shovel as well, which I'm dumb and I meant to grab the shovel first. So I'd only have like, it's fine, I guess. It's fine. <clears throat> I 
but I gotta kill that uh, dev that's in the that's near the shop, the one up there that we saw while climbing up. Let me take this. Because now we have to get to the, uh... It's done. I mean, I guess I didn't need the, uh, shovel, but... So you step by that saves time when you can get on their uh, their body parts and stand on the water instead of swimming because you can't swing your sword while you're swimming either so there's that and now I have the fairy portal unlocked I can save the princess well I mean I can save her without it but it's actually it saves about 30 to 40 seconds to have the portal even though it looks like you're going out of your way to do it the good thing is too is that you still want to make most of the trek there on foot. No, you don't. I'm stupid. Hold on. I still save time in the long run. I do wonder if that other route was actually faster. Like, because they have that climb up, and I think you can get into the back way that way. But it's fine. Damn it. I do wonder if the other way was faster. I, I'll have to try it later, but... This is basically the route we were taking whenever we are doing the Save the Princess, like, ILs, basically. If that bridge wasn't down, this would be a lot easier, but... Basically, you take this way to get to the fairy portal. Once again, I'm thinking, like, I could have possibly, like... Probably bypassed a lot of this section, too, by taking that other route. I didn't think of it as an option at the time. This still saves time in the in the overall, so I'm not too worried about it. Still fine. I can't look compare that and like, oh, that was like over three minutes, but that's counting the time from the fade. That's from the fade out and the load in. Well, the load in still count, but the fade out. And unlike the ending screen uh, from last time, so. Or should I say part of the fade out? Now we gotta go blow up the castle. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we can just get the bombs and come right back. I hope I don't need the hook claw, because I need to get back here. But if it's the only item I got, then I should... No. Once I grab the item... Oh, my God. 
I do need the hook claw. This will be fine. Because I realize that once I grab the bombs, I can't climb back up. And I can't get around some certain things. That's not what I wanted. Oh, okay, good. I still got it. Even with that slight hiccup, this will still be faster. It's okay. Exploded the castle. Could have saved this one later and probably saved a small amount of time, but it's not too bad. Because I realized like I could wait till the swords in my house to do this one, but we'll see. <clears throat> this like there's so many minor tweaks you can make that it's just like hard to say. Anyway, we'll need this. Only because we're gonna kill the dev, otherwise we would just need the shovel. so bad <clears throat> oh that's nasty and this one here I don't even need uh, items for Super quick. Less than a minute, even in real time. What's even better is now that we have both portals, a lot of travel between the Dark Lord's castle and back is going to be much quicker. <clears throat> so you know there's that. Because while we have the fairy portal, and that will get us there pretty quickly, which is good for certain... Uh, things you're aiming for, but right now we want to do this. Although, I don't... Well, you don't... Actually, with this one, you don't take the portal back. Because that'd be significantly longer and all that fun stuff. You actually want to mostly take this normal route back. That would be for, like, what we used for, like, Save the Princess Isles. Which apparently Save the Princess was a main category, but we also have it as an IL, so we're trying to figure that one out. Like, try to see if we can make a different category to replace it as the main category. Sacrificer, which will bring a great harvest, which is what we need 
to grow the big old stock that we need to do other stuff or make to either do uh, to do one thing really and make the other things easier or and or faster well they'll always be easier but not necessarily faster but I think it will be faster Now I've got enough endings though, so we should be able to, damn it, bonk in my head for no reason. You have to have a certain amount of endings for that, I think you need 15 endings. For this one to happen and i think it can happen in any cannon but this is the closest one so you just want to knock it out next is the bottomless pit so yay so we're taking a slightly different route to the dragon but we don't go all the way to the dragon it's so that we can find the bottomless pit See, we have the chicken now. We've gotten at least 16 endings. It might have been there earlier. I actually lost track how many endings we're on right now, but still. That one's done. Because, like, that one doesn't accomplish anything besides just the ending itself. It's not the only one like that. There's a lot of endings like that. But, you know, still. Now we will go fishing. <laughs> Which that one's really easy to get to, especially now that the piranha is not there anymore. That's why you get the piranha death early, so that you can just get it out the way. Spamming the button. Yeah, definitely. Oh, right. Right, you don't do that. I'm stupid. Because you can't jump up there. I love how, like, on my split is exactly, like, a minute apart. Now we'll be hugging some things for a little while. There's at least, I think it's like four hugs back to back for this part. Actually, I say that. You have to jump up for the... There's a reason they put that like that. Oh, I forgot to hit my split. <laughs> the best ending. If they had a dog, a hug dog ending, that would be the best ending. But I'll give it to this one for now. Now we're going to go hug a minion. Uh-uh. Nope. Benjamin was barking and it's just too loud, so I have to close the door. Alright. I tried to mix some up. To, like some of the endings so they're not just like 
I don't know. So there's also like, it's not just, oh, all these endings. I don't know. Like I was trying to mix it up. So it's like, oh, okay. Now I've done a few different things all over the place. Uh, so it's like I have a bunch of hug ones back to back just because some of them I actually position where you, uh, what's the word? I hate when I do that. Um, or it's like, it kind of gives a break. The next we'll hug the king and then we'll be done for, we'll be done hugging for a little while. I swear, it never fails. Like, it's like when I go to do the hugs, it's always like, I always have the cat, like, costume on. Whenever, like, I hug the guard and it, I feel kind of bad. And the only time I didn't was, like, for the IL. Because I was just doing it from a fresh file. That was the only That was the only other way. I messed that up. There's a certain way to jump that'll save you a little time. <laughs> now we gotta do we gotta go get killed by the mimic. I still have it set to relax, so it's not gonna do the jump scare, which saves some, at least real, uh, I don't know if it saves in-game time, but it saves uh, real time. Well, that and it's just, I don't wanna feel like jump scaring everybody either, so. doing this though the shotgun will be unlocked so now we have the shotgun available I'm sure I'll eventually reorder some of this stuff based on just like a preference like I don't know just whatever reason I feel like giving for it. This is also one of the fastest endings you can get, which is why uh, it's really good to have uh, when you're trying to unlock stuff that requires, the, like if you're doing ILs and you need the chicken, or you need that cannon, like that cannon death. Hey, what's up, ghost? How you doing, man? Now we're gonna go hug two more, possibly three, but I think it's only two more right now. Eventually there's like hug the princess and hug uh, the dark lord, but that's later I think in the run. Pretty sure. Anyway, we gotta get Mr. Hugs. I'm doing pretty good. I'm still a little nervous about doing this, like even though I've already started at this point. Otherwise, I'm fine. Okay, and the quickest way to get to there now... Yeet. I was trying not to land there. I was trying to land on the thing so I could jump up better. You know. You can't die from these cannons now. After you get that one... In after you get 15 endings and get the cannon death, you can't die from the cannons anymore. So you can sometimes get that jump too. Which is nice. So he's got the shotgun in hand, so if I need the shotgun for anything, I gotta kill. Oh yeah, I gotta hug the dragon too. I totally forgot I wanted to download uh, Helltaker and try it out on stream, but I guess I could do that a different day, because I wanna, uh, 
I think I'll just play it on my off time, actually. I'll keep... Because I kind of want to speedrun it. Because uh, another was mentioning... Like, he does it, and it kind of... I looked into it, and it looks interesting. But it looks like just an interesting game to play. So I'm, like, going to just try it out like that first. I mean, I was already going to do a casual run of it anyway. I didn't mean to jump up there, but that's my bad. Ooh. Now we go hug the boulder. See, that's what I wanted to do last time, so I completely avoid them. Yeah, you don't want to use the stock to climb, uh, to go across here. There's a timer above the chat. You're doing a speed run? Uh, yeah. Yes. It's in the title, man. <laughs> But I appreciate you asking all the same. Oh yeah, I gotta hug the old man too. You see, it's set up like that last split that says post game. That's like just the final split. It's supposed to show whatever my final time is. This is just my first time doing this, hundred two percent. So I only made up made the splits yesterday. Oh, I still need to go grab it. I do love the boulder skin, it's just funny. Thanks, homie. This is gonna be like a three, about a three hour endeavor. Maybe, uh, hopefully less, but you know. You can't approach from in front whenever you do the hug or kill the dragon. You have to do it from behind. Otherwise, it auto it just gives you one of the death uh, ones. The next will go hug the old man, which, you know. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna eventually resize everything on my screen because I feel like some I, I like I know my game screen is squished and my uh like squished vertically like from the sides while my live split and technically the chat but the chat's whatever because it'll fit whatever I put is squished uh horizontally even in the about some items in the game is they don't slow you down and this is one of them it doesn't slow you down or reduce your jump height uh, between it the compass the map which is not available yet in my run that comes later they both come later um, and uh, my brain <laughs> Is it the uh, Mr. Hugs, which is the teddy bear, the map, the compass, the burger? Well, it's a it's a burger in English, but it changes. Um, damn it! I messed up my jumps, but that's okay. I have to do this one now since I wasn't on the roof or on the chimney. I mean, um. What's the food item? I still call it the burger. Oh, I need this. Um, the dark orb. I think that's it. And technically the princess. It's not actually an item, but you know. Okay, so now for the strawberry, I need the, I need the chicken.
Oh, wait, I don't have to actually do the full flight. Like, I was thinking, like, I have to go up there. I was like, no, I don't. I do for certain things, but not for this one. I can take this route. I just realized, yeah, the thing is available now. The, uh, I think the compass is available now. Ugh. Oh, I, I made, I, ooh. I made a mistake. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um, shit. I think I, oh, wait. I think it's up here? No, it's blocked off. Shit. I, I... Oops. <laughs> Good thing is that, like, because I backed up, I'm, I'm gonna lose real time. Yeah, it's fine. The whole point, it's hard to remember every little thing you need to do. I realized what it was. I do need to get on top of the castle. So I can bypass that spot that blocks you off. I can't do it from right here, obviously. As you saw, it was too low. Damn it. I have to do it from up here so I can get on top of the castle. Yeah. Like I said, it's hard to remember everything you need to do, so the best you can do is just, just do the best you can. Thankfully, I only need the chicken to perform this, so I'm not too worried about it, but... I just hate the chicken slow fall, but I mean... If I didn't need it, I wouldn't use it. This is the only thing I need it for, too. If it was, uh... If this wasn't glitchless, it'd be different. I should have marked that, too. I put it as 102%, but I should have marked it as glitchless. That's one split that's gonna get better on future runs for sure. For sure. Now I gotta do the nuke uh, in the shop cannon, which is not that difficult to do actually. It's actually the easier one of the two, <laughs> of the three um, nuke options. The hardest one's actually after that. up on my screwed up jumps like I understand when I have to go get Mr. Hugs or go to that portal but like my other jump shouldn't be that bad so that was just too late of a jump there we go hello welcome welcome Oh, I didn't get the jump this time. It's okay. You just have to spam A and hope that you get the jump. Or whatever the jump button is if you're not playing on, like, Xbox controller or something. I made an oopsie on one of my endings. I was like, uh-oh, hold on. I had to, like, quit and go back in. Which sucks, but it's fine. It's sad before the trip. <laughs> oh, nice. Looking good already. So you basically took some stuff out of pots and put it in there. And then planted some fresh new things. The herbs. Uh, the herbs in the pot. Oh, wait, I have to get this first. Step. As they tend to be the most hard plants. True. <laughs> and she's like, oh, and I will. I know.
Yeah, it is. <laughs> Good thing this one only requires a hook claw, otherwise. I was starting to worry, I was like, wait, what else do I need? I was like, oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I didn't get the jump again, no. Thank you. Wait. Oh, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. I thought I had made a mistake, but I'm, 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 I'm a good, I'm a good. I messed up that jump, that's fine. Because I realized, oh, I can still make these jumps. That's what I was mainly worried about. Just getting back, and I was like, oh wait, there's another way. I think I could have made the jump regular, but it's fine. I'm gonna shoot, uh, I'm gonna shoot the castle with, from the dark castle. Howdy, demon. What's up, man? Now we gotta go kill the chicken. But it's okay. We'll hug it right after. It'll be fine. Good. Glad good to hear you're doing pretty well. Uh, at least I'd assume based on your nothing much. <laughs> a little bit of that. It looks interesting. Oh, that's good to see. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh shit, a nuke! Oh, wait. We're fine. <laughs> It makes you wonder if he actually knows what, if they actually know what a nuke is, or if that's just like something that only the other guy, uh, the uh, blah, uh, Jesus Christ, I can't think of his name. Um, the shopkeep is only aware of. Now we're gonna go hug the chicken. Chicken, chicken. So this one we're gonna need. You can use the chicken for it, but it's not necessarily viable. It's actually more viable to use the uh, hook claw. Oh no! Wait, you use the the chicken. Oh wait, no, you can't use the chicken. Uh, okay, hold on. This might be one I could have saved for later now I think about it. But I definitely need the sword. Uh, it's fine. Make mis the routing has mistakes. But I expected it. I expected it to have some mistakes in it. Hey. 
thanks, I hate it. I'm glad I thought about it, I could have killed them in the process. I know, it's like, I should just better fly myself, it's fine. I know, it has been a while. Well, I finally felt the inspiration to play it again. Especially the speedrunning, because that's... I actually have a lot of fun speedrunning the game. Believe it or not. Oh yeah, that's right. Gotta do that. This is why you don't use the chicken, because you want to get the waterfall of death afterward. myself some time. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. Don't mind me and my stupidity. Now we have to go kill the princess, which requires me to grab the sword and the chicken. I think I know why I put the waterfall death one there now. I think it's because the thought was to grab the hook claw, like climb over the castle, grab the hook claw, work my way back, grab the sword, and then walk all the way, which I realized if I had the sword in my house, I could have saved some time. So it might be one that's better for after the sword is in the house. Which is fine. I mean, it doesn't throw off anything else. It's just another death. The Revenge of the Rock? Yeah, pretty much. It's like, how dare you survive that fall? The main objective for this ending is to kill the princess, which is not hard to do, but we have another goal in mind. Which I don't like. That we have to kill these cats too. It's part of the 102%. It's required. I don't like the sound they make either. It's, ugh, it's disturbing. They made sure they, they wanted you to feel bad for doing that one. It's like barely enough to get up there. Some of the sounds they make when stabbed is just like, oof. Yes, it is. It's actually a terrifying sound. It's meant to make you feel bad. Like, I'm 98% sure it's meant to make you feel bad. And what's funny is, like, we're almost at 50% already. Like, we're in the 40, like, in the low 40s, but, you know, it's like, you would think, oh, we don't have that much more to go. You're right. We're at 41%, which means they're... I need to get Mr. Hugs. Because it's required for the hundred, uh, two percent. Now we gotta do the extreme sports ending. Which 
Extreme Sports requires grabbing the hook claw. We have to grab the hook claw, climb the stock, jump back onto the castle, take the princess portal. And then we'll be able to do extreme, uh, the extreme sport, uh, dark extreme sports. There might be a faster way, but that's the fastest I've found. jumped again. The reason we do that, it seems like it would take a little while, but then you can do this. I actually don't need... God damn it, I forgot that that happens. It's fine. to go kill the dev in the mountain. I forgot that thing was there, which means this next part, that means my overall is gonna take a little longer. Hey, hey, hold on. It's like I have to do it to get the, uh, to get another ending later, so, so I have to take a bit of a detour. Like, I should. Oh, that was extreme sports, not dark extreme sports. Oh, I fucked that up too. Okay. Uh, damn it. Wait, undo split. Skip split. This is just overall bad. I hate it. Like, I hate it already. Like, I want to stop now, but I know I need to at least... Oh, I'm stupid. I can jump up. <laughs> I forget. I only have just the sword. This is fine. I think I can go back and update it manually or something. here get this and then get extreme sports which we will do <sighs> going the wrong way too you know what actually this is fine I'm so mad at myself right now. It shouldn't have actually taken that long. I'll have to try to fix the splits later or something, but... Fine, I guess. I'm so annoyed. I guess actually, yeah. Let me undo. We'll skip it. We'll have to skip them in the in the long term. I'm not sure if we want to get to dark extreme force to just skip it because I already did it.
Now we gotta do AFK in the water. Which takes a while. I think it takes less time than the regular AFK, but still. Next one is Leap of Faith. That's the one I need to get. Still really annoyed at my mistake. Like the first mistake wasn't so bad, but this one was like, damn, I misread that completely. I need to like shorten certain things or something too. instead. This is fine. The thing is I can make these jumps without the minions being there. This time I need to grab the shovel. The thing is though, I would need the sword or the hook claw too to make the trip a bit easier. <clears throat> the sword is more along the way than the hook claw is, and there's only one area that the hook claw would really help. Like that's actually required. So yeah. grab the sword because that will kill the minions instead but we'll need the shovel to actually get to the jackpot or more specifically the treasure that has I mean the treasure chest that actually has treasure in it that jump I probably would have to climb all the way back up the stock too. That's bull. Eh. Oh, there we go, perfect. The hook claw allows for better consistency for that part, but the sword is quicker to grab. Although I think about it, this could be a um, a sword one instead. I'm not gonna do the escape shortcut, which I need the I think the fairy uh is it the fairy exit? No, I need the hook claw and then go into the princess portal to unlock the uh to actually open that escape. 
I feel like you can get around it without it, but I'm not entirely sure. I'd rather just use the hook claw and then test it out later. was like actually one area too high but apparently I was not hit one time I'm dead and <sighs> no no uh, no no it's further down ah, there we go actually I think about it I don't know if that was the fastest route I don't know it could be around the same amount of time but we'll see ourselves over bring it back to the same cannon which isn't that hard I was like thinking like, oh man we need the we need the sword oh wait I can get it on the way back I should have just grabbed the shovel instead. Because then I would still be able to pass through the gate. Oh my god. I'll still be able to make it up there, at least. They made certain things still accessible, at least. Take so long if I didn't stupid it up. There we go. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. God damn it. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, we actually skipped past this one. Oh, that's not what I. Oh, shit. It's fine. I hit the wrong button. 
We have to skip past that one because we did that one already. Accidentally added more time to it, but I remember it being uh, 115.35, so I'll just have to remember to adjust it at some point. Or not, it honestly doesn't matter, I think, all that much. Oh, oh excuse me. Now we have the shotgun instead of the sword. I think we have both. I don't remember. For, I think it only weighs you down for one of the two, though. We mean the guardian. Fist time? What? This is when we actually ride all the way up. we're going for the uh oh no this is oh man my bad you have to go to this one and it drops you down into it this is why you want this one this is one of the few kill ones that actually apply rude it doesn't well you can't get it in here anyway It allows you to hit them from a distance, and when they get stuck in the piles, too, you can still hit them through it. And like the sword. This is actually a, a bigger time save than you would think, too. See, like, they'll end up in the piles, and they're harder to hit with the sword. Or, or basically impossible. Fucking rude. I hope I don't die here. Like, I'm gonna be pissed if I die in here. I need to be extra careful. Ooh, he swung at me too. Rude little bastard. Let me get out of here. The noise. Let me get away from there. So you can shoot right through it. There won't be, there will be little to no issues. Oh, I didn't realize that it came back already. Try not to get hit too though. up soon. There it is. Easy, easy world record. Ugh. <laughs> Doom Eternal in slow graphics. In, in low graphics? Oh, I gotcha. Pretty much. I don't know if it's going to be an easy world record because I made two, three mistakes that kind of made me a little irritated. It's like, damn it. <laughs> See, I don't remember if the shotgun and the sword slow you down, like, independently, or if it's separate, so... But I never tested it. Or at least if I did, it was so long ago I don't remember anymore. But I think it does weigh you down independently, otherwise it would take it over. Because you still have the sword on your back. Get the jump. A jump is very useful. Now this time we're gonna do this. Oh no! Oh. No! 
damn it. Oh, when I get to spike death, I have to skip it. Fine. At least I got something. It's not as fast as I would have need to have done it, though. I think I may need the chicken. I've done it before, like, pretty quickly. I just, maybe I screwed it up. But let me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the chicken. I wouldn't better climb back up with the chi- Oh, I'm stupid. Just take this way. I still need the sword. kind of having to improvise a little because I thought I remembered the route and I think you can still technically make that but it's not really worth it oh right yeah pretty much with I should have a slow descent now or not okay but the chicken will still help with the other parts, so I'm not too worried. So with the hook claw, but I still need the sword, so if that's the case. Yeah, that still helps. <gasps> oh, almost jumped off like an idiot. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a faster way than doing it this way, but I don't remember how to do it. Next I gotta go do is kill the dragon, which after doing this will unlock the sword in my house. <laughs> the mimic never truly dies. Unfortunately. Oddly enough, grabbing the shovel is still faster in this case. It's like, I killed the dragon. Oh wait, I'm stuck down here now. <laughs> Hopefully I can get the best outcome for the bully the minion. See, now the sword's in the house. I am also now Tim Jr. Fear me. Nope. There we go, got it. The whole point is to stay on top of it so it doesn't move. 
But some t if you sometimes and you're in the perfect spot, it won't move at all. But I and I realized that was at some point. Nothing personal, yeah. Indeed. And then now that same minion will get his revenge. Well, I guess not the same minion, but whoever replaces him will avenge him. So there's that. Yeah, I, feel like I realize the jumping and stuff doesn't really help. And turning your angle away doesn't seem to help either. Check something real quick. I'm gonna waste some time, but never mind, we're good. I like couldn't remember, and it was like part of a three uh, a three ending set, so I was like, wait. See how fast that is? Like, that's why you do that. Plus, you need to get that time warp ending anyway, so. I did that one a little early. Hold on. Because then, yeah, you get that. Of course, any future time warp uses won't get this ending because I won't use that final bit of, like, time warp. See? Bam. Four endings unlocked in one, basically in one run. It'll be mainly only three from here on out, though, when I do those. The Binding of Isaac, yeah. I might be making a mistake here. I feel like I need the hook claw. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm sure I'll be fine. But at the same time, I feel like I'm making a mistake. I 
Yeah, I don't have the hook claw. Ow, my toe. I think it might still be fine, though. Oh, right, I have to jump. Eh, I knew it. I think I might actually screw this up. No, I know I'm gonna screw this up. Let me, I'm gonna have to go back. That doesn't count. I was actually trying to exit out. I need the hook claw. I thought it, I was like, I'm gonna regret it. I know it, but like an idiot, I went for it anyway. Or went without it, I should say. This way I can actually get across certain areas easier. I mean, who's to say? Also, it's up there. Damn it. Another thing, I could probably drop down from that lower point. I went to jump and messed it up. Now we need to get there. I'm uh, trying to do this speed run as best as I can. I'm glad to see that you're doing pretty good. Oh, right. Oh, right, I can't make those jumps. Shit. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I feel like there's a better route and I know it and I'm stupid. I'm not gonna make it. It's gonna expire before I get there. I think I know the route too, and I'm stupid for not realizing it sooner. I've lost so much time trying to do this right. And I've practiced this. How am I screwing this up still? We don't need the hook claw. don't need the hook claw because I realized the route I need to take is different than what I was trying to do. Oh, good. 19 hours in the past two days? Damn. And sometimes you just need to get some sleep. For one reason or another. Oh my god. Come on, please don't tell me I shorted the jump. No, that's fine. You know what? Let's just deliver it to the king. 
It's still one of the endings I need to get. But it's fine. I need to I need to make one extra jump above from where I was to make where I need to go. Oh no, we don't do the time whistle this time. Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted to do, is fall down and waste time. That's just putting at risk for the freaking food to go bad. safe I just took an extra jump but I'm pretty sure it was an extra jump I don't know it's fine I don't think I'm gonna make it god damn it if I do it's barely did I get it oh my god why is this ending so much more difficult than it needs to be I don't remember it being this different. I literally, when I tested it, I got it first try. At least in this case, I won't have any items. I'll just go get it done. It's fine. It's fine losing like five, ten minutes, whatever, how long it's been. I don't understand. Like, why is this so bad? Hey, Fred. What's up, man? At least with this, I don't have to grab the time whistle because I don't need it. Since I've already messed up, I can just go straight for it. I'll be able to do my full jumps and move speed. That's whatever. say if that jump got messed up I was I thought it didn't actually it... okay Kermit the frog here oh my god this why is this so difficult for no reason it's not that difficult it's just acting difficult it's been 10 minutes 10 goddamn minutes and I don't understand why the other ones were like small mistakes and it was whatever and I was like okay you know you learn whatever and this is like fuck you I'm gonna ruin your speedrun as a whole you know what now I think about it I'm no I'm pretty sure when I tried it I had the uh, the time whistle too So it does take away some of your jump height as it turns out. It just doesn't lower your speed, which is dumb. Like, be consistent. Thank goodness. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time though. That's the thing. I don't. I might make it. And finally get this damn split done. Finally. Fucking finally. Damn. You mentioned being a. No, I'm a pharmacy tech actually. Uh, so I cannot give medical advice. And unfortunately, I can't answer your question. 
Sorry, bear. I do need this. I will also need... Oh yeah, there's no thing here now. I'll need the chicken as well, which I realize this one could be put before. The sword is in your house. I'm like realizing, like, I must have made these decisions, moved stuff around, and forgot that I had stuff that worked better in a certain other way. Pizza sounds good. I might make a pizza quesadilla after stream. Not that kind of tech, Bear. The thing is, like, having the chicken slows you down, which sucks. But it's fine, I guess. I was hoping you could have helped me find free V bucks. Bear, you're going. You're. What is this rabbit hole? Like, I feel like what, the questions you asked me back to back just now is like going down like the weird side of YouTube. It's like, how did we get here? How did we even get here? I need to go get the shovel. I love that, like, I'm, like, cosplaying a Naruto character. Like, Naruto now. Like, this is hilarious. Wait. Oh, they'll let me through. As much as I want to take that route down... Is not not a good route. <laughs> Beach. God damn it. I knew this was actually an anime character. <laughs> Excited oob oob. I mean. Maybe. Okay, so we need to go into here. See, we've killed all the devs. I grabbed the shovel for no fucking reason because I'm an idiot. Oh well, I'll. I was thinking. I combined. I think I was thinking of the bottomless pit along with Crunch Hill. So that's why I grabbed the shovel. Otherwise, I could have just ran here. Hell, I could have like ran into the castle, dropped down the thing, and jumped on all those things to get here. I would have saved myself a little bit of time. But once again, we're learning and it's fine. It's just hard to remember like what you need. Like if I could have it on my splits without it like being too wordy. Now we're gonna do some easier ones. That's kind of the reason why I did it this way too. Makes in some easier ones in between. The cool thing about killing the guard, which it doesn't matter which guard you do it on, 
though, uh, is that the sword will be in that guard. Instead of in your house. Or in the stone, if it was up there. It won't be in its original, lo its current location. It's supposed to be current location. It'll just be wherever you left it, which in this case is in the guard. Which is not entirely accurate. It's only that guard, even if you kill a different one. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I'll, I'll know where to save time next time. If I... As long as I practice some more. See, the chest is open. What I'll do is I'll grab the sword from here, which is a little bit faster, because there's no um, um, animation for opening a chest. And it only happens once, so... You want to do it for the king one, because it's literally the fastest route from the guard to something. Everything else is further away on its other two locations, so you want to, like, keep them... You want to only use it for that one. We're at 65 out of 100, which means I should be at 66% because of the cat. It might still say 65, but I know towards the end it'll say 6, 101%. Or 102... Or 101%. That way you just kill yourself. That's why you want it in your house, because you can get those sword quicker. And then next we're going to go kill the boulder. Duke Nukem Forever speedrun, a bad idea. Probably, bro. I couldn't even... I never finished that game, in my case. Like, I had it. I don't have it anymore. But I used to have it on the Xbox 360 and just no. Like, I enjoyed that a little bit, but for the most part it was kind of jank, to say the least. Damn it. I don't know what a speedrun of that would even look like, to be honest. You know what's sad? There's gonna be more time whistle stuff later. <laughs> I just try to get two of them down back to back. I think there's one more for sure, and there's I think a second one to do as well. The uninstall button. Yeah, that's probably the quickest way to speedrun Duke Nukem Forever. Speedrun it out of your computer. I know, the boulder has a family, but yet it's trying to look for dates later, like... Sorry, what's going on now? <laughs> oh yeah, the rest are up here. This one causes a famine. <laughs> she destroyed all the kingdom's food. This next one's gonna be pretty easy too. Ashley Madison said the revenge of the rock is incoming. I think we've already had a few revenges But we'll see Because I honestly it's hard to remember like what endings I still have left and there's only a few I can think of off the top of my head that like oh I still have those to do because I remember they're near the end Now we just sit in here and wait for our health to hit max hit a 10 uh, 10 count and then it'll, we'll die from it main character has done nothing wrong oh my now we gotta vent kill the princess which uh, I think I just need the I just need the hook claw for that one I could do it you could do it without but it takes so much longer to actually get there you're better off just getting the hook claw 
You still go by foot? Oh, that's right. I forget there's a... You can... Uh, you become a dog after that uh, ending. Not the whole way of the game, of course. That would be too good of a thing to do. But, you know. Eventually, you can change your skins and everything, too. I hope I didn't jump too sh Okay, cool. I only had one item, so... Don't you canonically die a few times? You die a lot in this game. You die a lot. Now we gotta do the uh, time stuff again. Fun. Actually, while it's loading, I'm gonna... There. I wanted to scroll it down so I could actually see. Oh, okay. I was like, let me see what the uh, things are. Since we're doing sacrifice items, we need to grab a few things. Like this. This. These are weightless. We don't need them for anything else but the fact that they're weightless. But we still need six items. This is also weightless. We don't have to kill anybody, though, so that still works out in our favor. We need the hook claw to get a ri rude. No, why? Why are you rude, bruh? Now I have to wait. Otherwise, it'll waste more time. If I mean, don't worry about the hint. Normally, I have health to take the hit and damage boost through, but I couldn't do it this time. See, I've only have the weight of like one item right now. We can get the time whistle from here by doing this, because we'll need it. See, unlike the uh, food, at least, there's no time limit. I almost did that the wrong way. Oh, wrong one. You don't want to wait to get under that one just in case you can't make it. Dark Altar is actually located down here. You don't want to go higher up. You also don't want to activate the elevator either. So... Are there any good endings? Uh, yes. Uh, we've gone through a few of them already, actually. Um, like, usually most of the hugging ones are good. See, I have full health again at least, so... Okay, so now I gotta take the Dark Orb to the Dark Lord himself. Which, to do that, requires me to save the princess. Which I think still requires me to, uh, take the elevator up. I don't think I can climb. I can try. But I have, like, two heavy... Uh, actually, only... No, I have two heavy items, so... I still need to do this part, regardless, so...
Let's see. Okay, I thought not. I don't mind losing some time on it because I really couldn't remember if I could do it. But we'll take the elevator. <sighs> Funny thing is, taking the elevator back down isn't necessary, though. In fact, it's slower. Just going the way up is the, the fast way to even get there. Probably. Now thinking about it, I'm wondering if, like, I could have gone back to, like, the princess portal and got there faster. Cool thing is this opens up when you have the hook claw, so you don't have to wait on the door. Or the, uh, I guess the floor, technically? Yeah, the Dark Lord only spawns in when you grab the princess, so... Otherwise, I wouldn't even be bothering doing this. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Alright, I have to make sure not to accidentally hit... Um... X... Honestly, at any point right now. Yeah, you still want to come down here. It's still faster than taking the elevator, so... I meant to jump up, but that's whatever. Cool. I did activate the time whistle. So all I need to do now is grab an item... I'm holding three items. Well, I'm actually holding five. I was trying to think. I grabbed three items before I even left the castle. Then after I left the castle, I grabbed the hook claw and the time whistle. Which we don't use the time whistle this time. Because that's a no-no. We don't want the time warp again. It's a time waste. Just grab this because it won't be... It won't take us that long to get there. Because we're just going to the sacrifice alt the item sacrifice altar. I missed my jump. It's fine. This doesn't take that long, though. So, I'm carrying six items. Which will give an immediate success on the item sacrifice. <laughs> oh shit, bad idea. <laughs> yeah, giving him the dark orb is a bad idea. Now we gotta carry too many items. So I need to carry five items that do add weight. Hey. Ooh, that looks tasty. Mmm, hey, it's tasty. Mmm, mmm. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mm. I might have to skip my pizza quesadilla and make a grilled cheese instead. Hmm. I wish I could have grabbed the chicken. But actually, it's fine. I have one. Two. That'll be three items. I went off to land in the water. Four. And this should be the last item. It should make it too heavy. That wasn't too bad. We're at the two hour mark now. This next one's gonna be really easy, actually. This is gonna be a long stretch of like taking the fairy portal. And I think all of these don't require me to grab any items. I know this one definitely doesn't. As much as I'd like to grab the sword to make going across the water faster, it's not worth it. It's only worth it when you're trying to, like, if you need the sword for something else already. I'm doing this one first because it's the furthest away from the portal.
I was like, wait, did I need to turn around? Oh, no, I'm good. It just has a del some of them have delays before the ending actually kicks in. Ugh. Ooh, excuse me. We're seventy five percent of the way done. See, the next one is I need to die from minions in the arena. Which is gonna suck a little because it's gonna take longer to die because of this water, especially because I didn't jump and I'm gonna get an extra health out of it. I mean, I messed up my timing, but it's fine. It's not too bad. It's not like you have invincibility frames anyway, so it's whatever. It's annoying, but it's whatever. And we just gotta die in here. Doesn't matter who or what kills us, as long as we die. See, they actually. Oh, that was good to know. I meant to hit that sooner, but that's fine. Now we have to grab the shield and die from the Dark Lord. Which means I need to grab the sword to get through and then take the portal. I won't bet, uh, go. Like, you can't grab the shield and then go through the, uh. Like, they won't open the bridge for you. Or the gate. They won't open the gate for you if you have just the shield, which sucks. That would save some time. Ooh, my favorite food is a tie between red beans and rice. Um, pepperoni pizza, which is either uh, can be thin crust or stuffed crust, as the preference within that preference. And then um, ball crawfish. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, I have to go up here. I guess I could have done it one shorter, but it was just to be safe. Once again, to make the Dark Lord appear. Oh, I've had, well, I've actually had actual, like, New York style pizza in, <coughs> in New York. Both real and copy. Cop Some of the copies aren't bad. Like, they just taste like just as good as a really good version of it outside of New York. If you find the right place. I'm like, yeah, I got a shield. What are you gonna? Oh. God damn it. Gosh darn it. Ooh, carne asada is pretty good too, actually. I do like some burritos and stuff too, but it's not the top of the list. I think I put that one there just to like get it out the way. I just realized. Now I gotta go do the self-destruct button. This time the HP didn't matter. It was more so just to get a faster, like... That one's really quick too. And then I need to skip over spike death. Oh, I did, okay, that's fine. I hit the wrong button. Grilled ch grilled chicken is is good. We have uh we have some baked chicken, which is really good too. Trap button. Oh, okay, I have to think about that one, but I know what that one is. I need to go into the princess portal for that one. Ugh. 
This one's pretty easy too. Only have to do a small amount of waiting. I did it a little early. Now we gotta get killed by the anvil, which is also easy to do. I need to see if I could set it to where it'll um, adjust. To where it should, like, is, I like it to show the previous time. Benito Camilla? What about it? I say what about it, I don't know what that is, but it sounds nice, I guess? I don't know. Oh wow, I almost passed up where I needed to go. Well, that's a nice emote. I mean, your, your earlier ones are nice too, of course, because, you know, they're yours. They're really good emotes. Now we gotta bring the princess to the cannon. <sighs> you know what's funny is I, I'm pretty sure I still have a bunch of bits that I've got from a Twitch RPG, which by the way, y'all should, for anyone over the age of 18, y'all should really sign up for that. Like Twitch RPG, I've, I need to find the link for it. Like, it took me forever to actually find where it was. Thankfully these aren't too hard. This is why I put these here. It's like these certain ones are like ones in between. I actually don't know who Coco is. Isn't Coco the other like Ram that's got a clown look to her? Or him? Actually, I think it's a she, but I can't remember. I guess it's a she, but, you know, joking aside. She's the bunny. Oh, that's right. No, she's definitely creepy. But I guess the difference is like... I don't know. My guess is that... Cause she's based off of uh, the gyroids. Which are, don't exist in the game anymore. They, you know, because they took them out after the last one. I guess maybe it's just people remember that and that makes it a little easier, I guess? Like, honestly, I'm not sure. That's just my guess. Oh. You just never got rid of Pietro? I told you, advertise him on uh, Twitter. Somebody will take him. Now I can go drop, drop us into the anvil yard. Oh really? I mean, if you have, that's fine. There we go. A 
83% of the way there. And I'm talking about uh, based off of 102%. I've had least favorite village or bubbles leave due to Pietro, which is absolutely hilarious. Uh, that was pretty funny, actually. I'm glad I got a lot of these back to back that are just go through the portal and like do stuff. I originally set it to be done later though, that's why. I like to unlock that portal later. This time we need to die to the Dark Lord, but without holding any items this time. Well done. Wait, wait, we're not done yet. There's a perfect jump you can do that I don't think saves any time. I think it might save some frames because you don't bump into anything, but it's kind of hard to do. This one will get us. It's a similar ending to the uh, shield one, but you just don't have items, so you don't get that extra little bit. Okay, so he just outright kills you. I mean, it's no different than the shield one, like I said, but still. We gotta go have some fun with the princess. Much better. Much better. Oh, shit. Now this time we do not have to meet with the Dark Lord or an Anvil Yard or anything of that sort. And we're gonna meet up with the princess directly. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> That's actually the name of the ending, by the way. <laughs> now we gotta get killed by the dark elevator, which we don't need any items for, and we don't have to save the princess for either. In fact, saving her wastes time by a good bit, too. Anyway, I knew it was gonna happen. Like, hey, look, I fixed the first one. Oh, I screwed up. And I screwed up on the second one. Of course I do. Just sit down here. We'll look at the sign in the meantime. Just gotta, it's gonna come back down on its own. Yeah, you hear it? I guess that was expected to happen, huh? At least the next Dark Altar ones are a little bit easier. But there's no weird route to take. They both require the Princess Portal. One requires saving the Princess, one doesn't. I 
had eight packs a day of ramen. I believe it. And some ramen actually sounds good. I almost never eat ramen because I actually forget it's a thing. It's also so full of salt. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. But it still sounds good. <gasps> oh no. I made it. I tried to take a different route and realized I made it dumb instead. Which I th think might be a little faster to take that route anyway. I was if I thought of it sooner I wouldn't have like I would have made it. But hey, you know, time loss, whatever. Champagne and chicken ramen to, like together as a meal. That sounds a little rough to combine, but also I don't really drink alcohol that often anymore. I didn't drink it that often to begin with. I just drink it even less now because I have acid reflux. So, and then like eating the occasional pizza or even making my own pizza quesadilla. I get I usually use light sauce anyway, so. Like, alcohol is a little more straightforward on giving me the stomach problems. Oh, that makes sense. I think that does save time because then you don't have to wait on the uh, the elevator or anything like that. A waifu is you. Uh, the ramen of Maruchan. I see. Well, this time I gotta get the chicken. I did the chicken fly to the roof. All that fun stuff. Thanks for the 10 bits, Frap. I appreciate it. That's yeah, the only downside to the chicken. One of the downsides to the chicken is how slow it moves. It's not so bad in like a casual playthrough, but... It's still faster than waiting for the elevator, I think. Who's everyone's favorite waifu, and what is your fursona? I don't have a fursona. Thanks for asking. I just don't have one. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay, 87 out of 100 done. Nice. I would probably have to say, um, ooh, that's a good question. I would say probably Roddy Tops from Shantae would have to be mine. There's so many endings that require you to go get the princess, it sucks.
Aqua, I'm guessing from uh, Konosuba. Or Kingdom Hearts. Probably Konosuba though, because we're talking about waifus. Oh, really y'all are talking about that, I just responded to a question. Either way, at that point it's just semantics. Megamine. <laughs> Let's see. Haru Okuruma and Francesca Van Karma. Honorable mention to my IRL person. I find Waifu, Heather Mason, and Fropi from My Hero. Gotcha. You've thought this through, haven't you? Oh yeah, I forget it creates this weird looking skin. Just saying a lot from all the skins we've seen. The only way to make the mimic appear inside that big chest we found earlier is to save the princess. I literally call my crush Sinpai. Oh. Is she actually older than you? Or at least in like a higher... Well, you're not in school right now. I was going to say in a higher grade. I was like, oh wait, never mind. On that one. This is fine. Gotcha. I guess that's fine then. Like, I don't have anything against it. It's just more of like in its actual usage. But yeah, I guess that's fine in that case. I screwed up. Gotcha, gotcha. I really, I didn't mean to fall down that hole. I was just like, oh, fuck. I was thinking of the waterfall death that you can do with the princess. Mostly using it to be weeb trash. I mean, if she's fine with it, I guess it's fine. Go for it. That's weird on 20 different fronts. Okay, I gotta remember this time to not fall in the hole. Cause like once you fall in, it's like you pretty much can't get out of it. I need to turn off the light in here. It's actually creating some heat. There's no need for it. There's light coming from the windows anyway, so. <sighs> I 
here are the four items I need. Yeah, the Mimic is pretty cute, to be honest. Huh, it's cute for a monster. Oh, it's thundering over there? Man, we got a heat wave going on. It's not even, like, considering a drizzle here. Well, that's generally how they sound. I mean, when something breaks the freaking sound barrier, it's gonna, it's gonna do that. Just to be safe. I got the four items I need. Yes, but it usually rains a lot. I realize I could have skipped the water, but honestly, just play with the alligators? Hell no. I wouldn't play with them even if they were friendly. It's too risky, man. Too risky. Yeah, the baby alligators aren't so bad. And usually you have to do it like where they haven't specifically for petting them and stuff. But did you pet one in the wild? Because yeah, you would have. I'm surprised you're still alive. This time I can get across. Now we're gonna go on a long journey. We don't wanna be jumping too much either. I realize I forgot the shovel. I'm actually stupid. I need the shovel. I actually don't need the sword, I need the shovel. Uh, why am I stupid like this? Well, yes. Reptiles are pretty cute, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I'll grab the sword. I'd rather have the sword than the shield, to be honest. But I definitely need the hook claw. If I didn't need the hook claw, I would just save some time by not grabbing it. I never said there was anything wrong with alligators, I just wouldn't go to play with one. They're not meant to be played with. Both literally and figuratively. No, I missed it! Oh my god. Right. There we go. Killer Croc is pretty awesome too though. I'll admit that.
Now I think about it, I could have saved myself some time. At, like, even if it was accidentally. Like, just because I was already there. Could have did the jump around. Oh. Uh, into you. Oh, God. Don't even get me started on that song. Try this properly this time. Yo. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. <laughs> to say the least. To say the most. Yeah. Man on a banana. <laughs> I really like the carpet and the fact that I guess the room is the coolest in the room. Like in the house, I mean. Okay, baby. I need two M's for commands. C O M M A N D S. That'll send you right back to the beginning. Which is no good. It's literally it's literally a troll, it's a trap. It's no good for anybody. sat in a puddle of your pee for long enough would your what would your leg what disintegrate I guess is what you're trying to say and this one seems like it's gonna send you to the front like to the beginning but then it's like oh we got are we just gonna drop you off here you Actually, select this one. We take the same route, but we don't have to walk all the way through the desert this time. Zero gems. I don't remember turning that off. Oh, never mind. I was about to say. This is going to be a much easier one to do. Oh, excuse me. Heck, it's been a minute. It's been a lot of minutes. Now we gotta kill the Dark Lord, which the easiest way to do that is to get...
It's actually the sword in the uh, the chicken. Either that or the hook claw, but I think like they save diff they save different amounts of time. Oh, I guess I didn't need the hook claw. I guess I could have. That's fine. I'm already doing it. It's the path I've chosen, even though I could have did it without the chicken. Because I could have walked through the gate and then just, like, climbed the freaking stalk that's there. Princess is probably okay. Uh, the princess can. I don't care. <laughs> Do you know I mean like I'm losing time just by floating down when it's not necessary? Like I've already stabbed the freaking guy by now. more time than I wanted to the fact that I lost any time but now I remember like oh yeah I can grab the sword then go up the beanstalk then take the portal and be fine the rest of the way at least the next one will be easier because it's like I grab mr. hugs and then go right into the portal this is nah, I don't know best ending I think is a bit subjective Now we go save the princess again. Why well, say save the princess? We go grab the princess, I guess is more accurate. I mean, it might be. <laughs> I guess it just depends. Apparently he likes it. So I guess it's definitely not a bad idea. Touch his butt and call him a homie. I mean, I feel like I did that with the sword earlier, but I guess that was the problem, huh?
Now we gotta take the princess a long way. And I do mean a long way. There's like three different locations, no, four different locations I have to take her to now that are all to the west of here. This is the farthest one, that's why I put it first. Bro, I'm already hungry. Like, I ate before stream, but I'm hungry already. That's why, like, after this run is over, I'm probably gonna just shut it down and then eat. But, we'll see. We will see. I think I thought of a faster route. I'm trying to think like right never mind this is the only way because I just realized the other way is like not possible damn it it's not possible to accomplish I actually don't know if it saves time to like grab the shovel and then do this. I haven't tested that much yet. You okay, Benjamin? Isabel, the true big dog. You right. If I jump like <laughs> four smug villagers, it might be time to get rid of some. <laughs> Four endings in out of a hundred well it's out of a hundred two percent I'm technically it's 95 percent but it won't show up until like after I think all the other endings are done now we're gonna get to the dragon Alright, bear. You do that. Now we gotta take the princess to the dragon. Which I realize the shovel for this one might be faster. Now I think about it, because not only do I have to dig there, I can dig earlier too. Sounds good, man. This time I jump. It's fine, I guess. Damn it. I 
Oh. I did not realize that was a thing. I've never actually taken that route before. I was like, oh, I can grab the shovel and go. Oh. Like, we, you can't have it. You block that off. their first date. Probably. Close enough. At least this one's the shortest distance ish. I guess uh, the last two are probably around the same amount of time, so. All right, you have a good one. See you in 10, I probably, I should still be on in the next 10 minutes. Influencer's achievement, not achievement, ending. Mm. Oh God, why have I become so fat? Let's take you to, um, I don't know, take you to a waterfall. I'm gonna take, take you to the waterfall. Just, yeah. You 
you good, Benjamin? This one, I'm gonna need the sword. This about needs to shut up. Problem is, I can't close the door because Benjamin's blocking the way. Benjamin. I need the sword. Shit's about to make it though, with just the sword. I forget, I need to aim for the first step, then jump, do a full jump off after that. <sighs> the portal won't be a good idea this time, though. We don't have to slog through water. Another interesting thing too is that as long as you don't interact with the if you don't get close to the guard down there. The gate won't open. When did they change that? How the fuck? That that's that was not like that before. They changed that. Damn it. That was the whole point of taking that route. Uh, fine. Actually, hold on. That still works. That could have been a lot better, but... That didn't used to be that way. I didn't realize they changed that in the most recent update, or one of the one of the recent updates, I guess. Anyway, this next one's gonna be really easy. Oh, I forgot you have to press X on it. 
Okay, so now we're going to the final ending after this. think about it I could have probably taken it slightly different route. it's fine it's fine I've already done it just like taking the uh, the hole in the castle route and then going left which means you don't have to grab the shovel and you can move your full speed and all that mainly the full speed the jump heights whatever So, like, I have the power, or at least I will, uh, just a little bit. <sighs> it's the time. Yes. Three hours have culminated to this. The newest and truest hero. ultimate ending in
Oh yeah, I have to go up one more. Yes, the finale indeed. Yeah, if you time it right. Yeah, you can save some time for sure. That's my bad. stunned if you actually like you're not mid swing when you do it there we go I am now the Dark Lord, as it was destined to be. King of the piano. I'll play well enough. The funny thing is, it doesn't matter what you select. It's just the only reason you pick the first one's because it's fastest. But. I do like this piano rendition of the uh, main theme though, it's quite nice. <sighs> if only this was the end of the run. This is the second to last thing to do. I mean I already did it, I'm just waiting for the all the stuff to end.
ejected from hell. Not hell. Ejected from heaven. Stop making gory video games. Or at least that's that's basically what it's saying. So they were the developers of Adventure were ejected from heaven for making gory video games. One more thing to do. Oh well, I mean, I guess having some extra health won't hurt anything. Oh, they changed it. Why is it on this side now? Oh, plus it seems it might be a little bit easier to get to. Oh, there was a sword. I didn't realize the sword got up there. Damn it. Got it. Oh. They made this a whole lot easier. Oh, thank you, developers. I dreaded that section so much. This next part though is gonna be the suck. Unless they changed it too. I love how it puts me at like 104% for some reason. I guess maybe the cats weren't necessary, but I mean, Wow. I expected to struggle with like that first section because that's usually the biggest struggle. Well, technically the biggest struggle is that last section on in and of itself, but it's one thing you have to really do multiple times versus like two separate things you have to do. Me being at 105% doesn't count because this is based off the previous setup, which 
I guess technically I don't need to kill the cats anymore, which could save some time. Is it that? I mean, that alone could save some time because the listing doesn't say to kill the cats. I just wanted to make sure it said 102%. And also another thing about it, the world record video didn't have him killing the cats. I'll double check with the, another to make sure if it's still required. Uh, I know my time is not the best, but it's fine for our first run anyway. Two thir two thirty three forty six. I'm sorry. What did I beat the world record 